Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Singapore. And today for lunch, I am hanging out with my friend Darius. And what is the name of this food um, center? It's, it's Holland Drive Food okay. Center. And we just ordered up a lot of food, a feast, and a lot of good looking food here. And we're about to dig in. One of the well-known stalls at this hawker center is Hakka style Yong Tao Fu. And this is, it comes with a side of noodles, which are dry noodles. And actually the Yong Tao Fu, which is a tofu and soup, is over in the middle of the table right here. And that's a very clear looking broth. And then pieces of tofu, I think this is a fish ball. And then bitter melon with some pork in the middle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite of that that tofu that looks very, very spongy. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some minced pork in the middle of that tofu as well. And yep, that is extremely juicy. The piece of tofu just soaks up all of that broth. You can then move on to the noodles and just take a bite of the, the noodles in between. I think or you no? have to mix it up first. Mix it up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little dry. Is sauce is at the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It almost looks like like a spaghetti sauce on the bottom there, like a minced meat red sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that sauce is just awesome. It is a little bit spicy and you got that, I think it's ground beef. You can taste that ground beef in there. It is really good it's like a kind of like a chili oil I think this is chili vinegar with garlic in it mm. one of Darius's favorite stalls here at the market is a place that serves Lei Cha Fun and in Chinese that translates to thunder tea rice and it is vegetarian so there's rice on the bottom here red rice and then it's topped with a bunch of different vegetables there are peanuts on here there's cabbage maybe like spinach or some kind of green vegetable. There are green onions. No, not green onions, green beans. There are, pe um, I don't know, tofu, is that tofu? Okay, and so you're supposed to mix this all up. It's almost like, it's almost like bibimbap. Korean mixed rice, but um, fully vegetarian. And it looks simple and just colorful. It's also served with a soup on the side, which is, thunder tea. it is, that's the thunder tea right there. And it looks like green tea, I think, with some cilantro in it. Mm. Yeah, that's a good mixture. The vegetables are nice and crisp. And then, I know it's not shrimp, but I almost taste a little bit of a shrimp flavor in it. But this is fully vegetarian, so that's... That, oh, that might be from the dried tofu. Oh, actually, there's a bit of shrimp in there. Oh, there is shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I don't think that's yours, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, there actually is a little bit of shrimp in there. I guess you can order it without the shrimp if you're really going for the full vegetarian. But for a little bit of... Just like a little bit of a shrimpy paste flavor to it to give it that flavor, which I love. Mm. What does that taste like? It's almost like miso soup, but with a green tea flavor to it. One of the dishes at this food center that I'm most looking forward to eating is the duck kui chap. And kui chap are these noodle, they're almost like noodle slices, noodle squares. And in Thailand, they also have a version of this called guai chap. Same noodles, but the noodles are curled. So they they look like little straws. But in, so in Singapore, they're a little bit different. And what she did was she really quickly blanched the noodle. The noodles were already cooked, but then she quickly dunked them in the hot water. She scooped them out, put them into a bowl, drained all that milky water from the noodle broth, and then added in all that duck soup. And the aroma, while I was standing in line, was just beautiful. You could smell all those Chinese spices, the, the star anise, and I got like a steam bath of braising duck fumes. 
which was fantastic. And then finally she topped it with some crispy shallots. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just taste one of the noodles. Mix some of the, right? Should I mix it? Okay, let me mix it this up a little bit. And let me taste just some of the noodles with some of that soup. Oh, oh it just slid out of my spoon. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. You can really taste all those duck juices and then all those Chinese braising spices, the star anise, the cinnamon, the soy sauce in there. What I like is it's not too salty, but just really duck fragrant. And then I think these are some braised duck intestines and I'm not sure what that that jiggly bit is down here. That could be duck skin. Okay, and I'll pick up a piece of braised tofu along with that as well. Oh yeah. Well, oh, I think my my intestine fell out of my chopsticks as I was about to take the bite. Let me follow that. Mm. Yeah, all of that tofu and all of those ingredients are all braised in that same liquid and duck juices. There's also a stall here that is well known for their wonton mi. And these are egg noodles topped with some pork and it should be stirred up because I think there's more sauce. Oh yeah, there's that sauce down there on the bottom. So you can kind of break them, break them up and re realiven them. And let me grab one of those let me grab a piece of that pork down there, and then some of the noodles. Mm. The texture of those noodles is awesome. Um, they are a little bit chewy. What I really like is how thin they are. And so, they're yeah, they're really thin, but then you can really feel the texture of every single noodle. Mm -hmm. And I will follow that down with some soup and a wonton dumpling. Mm. I really like the pepper in that broth. And then those dumplings are, I think there's a little bit of minced pork in them. And you can taste the sesame oil as well. And then finally, at the same stall where they were serving the quite chop, they also do braised duck rice. So I had to go for one last plate of braised duck rice. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of that sauce. Add a little bit of that sauce to the duck. And let me see if I can, maybe I'll spoon it. It's always a comfort dish. Braised duck with rice, or actually any kind of meat with rice. Simple and good and just comforting. And the duck has the same flavor as the guai chap because it's probably the same braised duck. Delicious. For dessert, Darius just bought us a box of chichong fun, which are rice noodles. I have to okay. put in a sauce. Oh, there's another sauce with it. Okay. Let me grab that out of the bag. Oh, this sauce. Okay. Should I dip or dump? Dump. Dump? Okay. <laughs> okay. And one of the things about the stall that serves the Chichong Fun here at this market is that they make it themselves fresh. So Darius was telling me that a lot of stalls here in Singapore now get them from a factory that makes them and mass produces them, but they still make them in, well, just for their stall, hawker stall here, which is uh, pretty cool. And I am I always enjoy stalls that still continue to make their art like that. And so these are noodle rolls, I think topped with preserved turnips. And then there's a little bit of chili sauce there. Mm. And then this is the sauce, which kind of smells like a, a little bit of a sweet soy sauce. Pour this over. All of it? Go oh, all of it. Okay, and let me grab, I gotta get some of that chili. 
start from this end. Oh man, my, my chili fell off the noodle. I'm gonna re-grab. Okay, is there anything stuffed inside? Or it's just the noodles? Pick a spoon, yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, the texture of those noodles. They literally just disintegrate in your mouth. They are so soft. And then that soup, well actually it's a sauce, but it's kind of turns into a soup. It has a little bit of a sweet tinge to it. And then just a very light saltiness. It's almost like the dipping sauce that you get when you have tempura, Japanese tempura. It almost, it's that light, kind of just a refreshing soupy sauce. Mm. That was a good way to end with that chi chong fun. Everything was good. I think my favorite dish, I'm gonna go with the guai chap, that duck, those duck noodles, and also the braised duck rice. I think, I think that was my favorite. What was your favorite? Oh, I think my favorite is definitely the thunder tea rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really good. I, I enjoyed that as well. Big thank you to Darius for bringing Ying and I to this, another awesome hawker center in Singapore. And I like this place because it's, it's not too, it's not too busy. It is busy, but it's busy enough. It is, the vendors are really friendly and it's a kind of a neighborhood yeah. hawker center. So it has a, it's local, good food, great environment. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next food video. And big thank you again to Darius. Mm -hmm.